hello friends welcome back to our channel in this video we are going to discuss few questions about digital design which are based on pulse stretcher and pulse compressor and these questions are very frequently asked questions these days now without wasting much time let us get started Friends, the very first question is on your screen where you have to design a pulse stretcher. So what do I mean by pulse stretcher? It has one input IP, one output OP. Both input and output are one bit. Apart from input and output, it has one clock signal at the input. In this particular example, the input is one clock cycle pulse. And the requirement is output should be three clock cycles of pulse. That means this pulse stretcher is stretching a pulse up to three clock cycles. Let me explain its behavior with the help of timing waveforms. So this is the clock signal, which is continuous clock. This is input IP. And uh, on this IP signal, I have one clock cycle of pulse. And this is the requirement, which is OP. OP is for three clock cycles of pulse. Friends, now you can pause my video here. Try to think of its design otherwise i am going to reveal its design friends let me reveal the behavior of pulse stretcher with the help of timing waveforms we already discussed clock and input signal ip ip is one clock cycle pulse let us put one flip flop at this ip and let us say ip underscore ff1 is the output of first flip flop which will be again a pulse but delayed by one clock cycle with respect to the signal ip let us put one more flip-flop and let us name the output of second flip-flop as IP underscore FF2. It will again be a pulse but delayed by one more clock cycle with respect to the signal IP. Now let us add IP, IP underscore FF1 and IP underscore FF2. Let us put a OR gate and we will get OP which is our requirement. It will be a pulse of three clock cycles because one cycle is IP. Second cycle is IP underscore FF1 and third cycle will be given by IP underscore FF2. This is how we get a pulse stretcher which stretches one clock cycle pulse into three clock cycle pulse. Now let me reveal its design which is very simple after observing these waveforms. I simply need to put one flip flop, flip flop one which will give me IP underscore FF1 at its output. Then I will feed its output to input of second flip-flop FF2 and at the output of second flip-flop I will get IP underscore FF2 and then I will do OR operation on IP, IP underscore FF1 and IP underscore FF2 to get the final output that is OP. Friends, now the next question is what will be the timing waveform of output signal OP if instead of applying one clock cycle pulse at the input IP I am applying a pulse of two clock cycles. Let me reveal it. This is clock, this is input which I am applying for two clock cycles. This is the output of first flip flop which is again a two clock cycle pulse but delayed by one clock cycle. This is the output of second flip flop which is again a two clock cycle pulse but delayed by two clock cycle with respect to input IP. When I do OR operation on these three pulses, I will get a pulse of four clock cycles. From these timing waveforms, we can easily conclude that if I apply a pulse of one clock cycle at the input of this pulse stretcher, this pulse stretcher is giving me a three clock cycle pulse at its output. But if I apply a two clock cycle pulse at its input, at the output I am getting four clock cycles of pulse. That means we can say that this pulse stretcher is adding two clock cycle extra at its output. Now let us move towards your next question. Friends, the next question is also on your screen where you have to design a logic which should generate a three clock cycle pulse at its output. When a n clock cycle pulse is applied at its input, where n can be one clock cycle pulse, two clock cycle pulse, three clock cycle pulse and so on. But irrespective of the width of the input uh, pulse, at the output I should get three clock cycle pulse only. Friends, this is a very good interview question and frequently asked these days. 
If any one of you come to know its answer, please write it down in the comment section and, I, and we can discuss there. Anyway, I am going to reveal it. Friends, the crux is, firstly, you have to convert a pulse which we are applying at the input into a single clock cycle pulse as shown here. Let me tell you how to convert any pulse into one clock cycle pulse. This is a clock signal. This is input. In this case, I have considered a two clock cycle pulse. We simply need to put one flip flop at its input IP. Okay, this will be a pulse but delayed by one clock cycle. Then what we have to do IP and operation IP underscore FF1 bar. So we will get a pulse here in this duration. Now once we get a one clock cycle pulse, then I already discussed in the beginning part of this video that we can stretch it to three clock cycles by putting two flops and doing the OR operation. Friends, with this I am going to end this episode and I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. And in future we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the up upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.